After Storm Goretti hit last night, it was the perfect opportunity to put the Tesla through its paces in snowy, icy, horrible conditions, which included a nasty hill climb, which had already claimed the life of a BMW, and conquering a road which hadn't even been used yet. You'll see plenty of abandoned cars and trucks from the night before, and I learned one key dynamic setting which you must engage if you want to drive in these conditions. I'll go for it. What do you think? I'm going. Oh yeah. Yeah. F let's go. Okay. There are there are tracks. There are tracks. I was literally hoping like there'd be nothing here. Oh wow. Did that block it? Have they come down? That's broken. I should definitely have it in chill. I'll do it in chill on the way back up that hill. Oh, chill mode. So no one's been up here. Tesla, come on baby. Chill mode. Tesla four-wheel drive. No one's been here yet. That is phenomenal. Right, no one has been here. That's me paving the way. Right, so we're in chill mode now and I have no track in front of me. So let's just see if it'll just roll off. It'll be amazing if it does. If it doesn't, Oh my God, Tesla, you are amazing. I thought I might have had to have gone back in my tracks and then get a little bit of momentum and then bring that into the snow. But that literally just went off. Complimenting it so far, but there's a hill over here and this will be the test. There's a BMW abandoned at the top of it. It's not crazy steep, but with these conditions, it is pretty rough. Just gotta be careful of anyone coming down because there's basically one track. Right, wish us luck. This is the hill. Obviously, everyone knows it's all about momentum. Whoa, bit sideways. Oh my God, that grip. So chill mode, don't have it in performance. Don't have it in standard because it just puts down too much power. And now if I can keep the momentum going, that's the key. And hopefully no, oh. You say hopefully no one comes down. Ah, he's giving me a flash, which is nice of him. Gotta watch the apocalyptic tree. Ah, he's ah, oh, he's gonna force me into the snow. I oh, know he's not. So we're going through here. Let's go left. Give him a little flash. Thanks very much. Whoa, there you go. So we are forging our own path now. Look at that. I'm just driving on the snow, chill mode. This is quite an incline. There's a BM. Whoa, losing it. There's a BM that's been abandoned. Come on, up the hill. Oh my god, this car. So we're still going uphill. I don't want to come to a stop. There's nothing coming. Oh, <laughs> out to the main road. Oh my god. There you go. That is unbelievable. In these conditions, there's cars down here that have been abandoned um, because of the storm last night and all the snow and everything that you can see. And this car is absolutely loving it. Tire pressures are perfect. I got the range. I did actually top it up to 92% through the night because I knew I was doing this trip in the morning just to help the wife and get her to work. I know a lot of people would say, oh, it's just silly, just don't go in. But the roads weren't too bad here. It's just off the track and there's loads of abandoned cars, but wow. So as we've seen, chill mode. Um, and then just take your time. Obviously keep the momentum going. But there was a moment then when we stopped, when we came the other way to the house where I was slightly uphill and I was still in performance and it slipped and it stopped. The car couldn't go forward, traction control kicking off. The moment I put it in chill and gave it one second to think about it, it we just started going and there wasn't even any tracks to go into. I need to have a look here. This, this goes down into one lane. There are trees everywhere. <coughs> Yeah, there wasn't even any tracks to go into outside of where the wife works. No one had been up there yet, probably because they couldn't get there. 
and this car did it straight away just blasted through the snow absolutely a mega and as we saw then pulling off the start there was no tracks in front of me no one had been there yet this morning because i don't think anyone could get there or anyone had tried to get there of course other four-wheel drive cars will probably be able to do it but look tesla evs get so much stick for cold weather all this kind of thing the only stuff i've heard recently about batteries going wrong have been on a combustion engine cars in the cold when the 12 volt batteries have been flat in the mornings abandoned vehicles all right let's see what we've got around here it's kind of sludgy you never know what's under oh, another abandoned vehicle front wheel drive go on Peugeot so we're in a uh, Telford area there's a little well not a path there's a little hill called the Reekin I think it's about 300 meters or so at the, at the tip of it because of we're kind of near it we are a little bit higher than where our house is uh, so there's always a little bit more snowfall many many people will be buying the rear wheel drive only's and of course for range and EV if I'm oh, talking to the devil there's a little Tesla coming the other way almost give him a little wave <laughs> um, yeah the rear wheel drives of course are gonna uh, gonna be bad they're gonna really really struggle It'll be really interesting to see how they deal with it, maybe in chill mode still. Rear wheel drive owners that are owning previous BMWs. Rear wheel drive, of course, and they're really bad in these conditions, especially the more powerful ones. Huge main bit of advice from this whole experiment is stick it in chill mode. Uh, I suppose if you're a four wheel drive Tesla and you put it in chill, then it like levels the playing field then, no matter if you're in standard range, long range, or a performance. And that, that grip then was unbelievable. It must have been three or four inches worth of fresh snow, no tracks in it at all. So I'm having these tires, which are now 26,000 miles old, so they're probably not the best, having to create their own grip. Uh, really impressive, that was, really impressive. And you could tell the difference. In performance, it couldn't do it with the slight incline, obviously, because it's just trying to put down too much power. Whereas in chill, absolutely loved it. Look at all this lot. This was the hill earlier. I actually came up this in performance though. It was absolutely fine. All these guys, probably rear wheel drive BMs. Whoop, slipping a little bit there. No, I'm not teaching people to suck eggs, but obviously in the snow and ice, and I'm no driving expert. I mean, I've been done a few miles in my life, but just honestly, for any new drivers, all I can suggest is take, as silly as it might sound, and if you've got someone following you, remember if they go in the back of you, it's their fault. Just take 10 times longer to do everything even slowing down at roundabouts and things it's all about slowing down and turning in the snow and ice just go really really slow i know it sounds obvious but just go really slow and never go like kind of full lock with turning and things like that you've got to go so slow because if you imagine if you go full lock with most tires um, it's just going straight on that it needs as much surface area touching the ground as possible poor old trucks there's a um a stretch back into Cornwall there was a Cornwall video that I filmed which I'll do in a pop out at the top right hand corner now um, there's a stretch down on the A30 I think it's past Oakhampton when you get any snow down that way uh, the trucks is a really long uphill stretch just like a slow incline <clears throat> and they really can't do it so you end up that section of the A30 always ends up getting fully congested and stuck everyone abandoning all their vehicles so now we're coming back onto the motorway and um, leaving Telford I think now it's going to get a little bit better so what have we learned from this one if you've got a four-wheel drive Tesla and it's snowy put it in chill and you will be forging paths for days right then YouTube thinks you're going to want to watch this video up here or click on my lovely face drop a like hit subscribe thanks very much guys see you at the next one